Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see about how we can visualize our data and why to perform the visualization and what are the different techniques to perform the data visualization. Why visualization is required? Without the concept of visualization, mining, analysis, does not play any role of importance in a data mining. And data mining is the idea of finding the interference by analyzing the data through patterns, right? And those patterns can only be represented by a different visualization techniques. The usage of data visualization. A powerful way to explore a data with the presentable results a primary use is the pre-processing portion of a data mining process. Supports in a data cleaning process by finding incorrect and a missing values. Next, for variable derivation and a selection means to determine which variable to include and discard it in the analysis also play a role in combining categories as a part of the data reduction process. Techniques. The first is box plot, histograms, heat map, charts, tree maps, etc. Now we'll see one by one. First we'll see the box plot, very important plot through which we can perform a lots of data analysis and through which we can different data we can visualize also. So this is a box plot. And before, uh, in the last video, we have already seen what is IQRL, that is interquartile range. So we'll brief in the box plot it is. See, what is box plot is basically, this is a box plot. In the box plot, this is a median fine then this is a interquantile range that means see in a bell curve as we have seen in the previous video so this is a median right and these are the interquantile range right so similarly in a box plot q1 and q3 are the interquantile range so 70 25 percent is the quantile one and 75 percent is the quantile three next these are the mean and the max quantile range right so quantile one minus 1.5 into iqr and maximum is quantile three plus 1.5 into iqr after this Whatever data points are present, those will get considered as your outliers for the box plots. Fine. So always remember, this is interquantile range. This is 25%. This is 75%. This is mean and max value. And outside this, whatever is the present, that is outliers. A method for graphically depicting the groups of a numerical data through their contents. It is a standardized way of displaying the distribution of a data based on the five features. Minimum, that is minimum value in the data set. First content, that is 25th percentile. The min middle number between the smallest value and the median of the data set. The median is the middle value of the data set. Then the third quantile that is 75th percentile, the middle value between the median and the highest value of the data set. Then maximum, the maximum value in the data set. Also the lower and upper quantiles are shown as a horizontal lines of the rectangle. It has a vertical line inside the indicate the median value. Next comes the second technique that is histogram. That is also very important. Histogram is used to compare the values through which we can compare two or three values together. 
so this is a histogram where we are comparing the gra gross monthly salary with the frequency and the uh, through that we are displaying the histogram of a monthly salary so it is an accurate representation of a distribution of a numerical data it relates only one variable includes bin or a bucket the range of a values that is divided the entire range of a value into the series of an interval and then count how many values fall in each interval fine so what we are doing here we are calculating this that is a bucket each and every bucket will get calculated on the basis of that we find the value that is called as histogram next is beans are the consecutive or a non overlapping interval of a variable as the adjacent beans leave no gaps the rectangles of a histogram touch each other to indicate that the original value is a contiguous fine so if you found the gap between each other of each and every value that means that values are not having a beans with each other are you getting it that's why that is called as a histogram otherwise it will get called as a bar graph fine next is heat map so in the previous video also we have seen the heat map this is one of the heat map and in this heat map what we do basically it is a graphical representation of data whether the individual values contained in a matrix are represented as a colors so useful for a two purpose for visualizing the correlation tables and for visualizing the missing values in the data in both the cases the information is conveyed in the two dimensional table always heat map are useful when examining the large number of values but they are not a replacement for a more precise graphical representation such as bar chart because color differences cannot be preserved accurately next is chart the basic charts it gives a graphical representation of data which has a various types so first is bar chart so this is a simple bar chart where we can represent a year and we can represent some values so it is it represent the categorical data with a rectangular bars of a heights and a length of a proportional to the values they represent next is line chart so different different lines we can form and through that we can form the curve also so it is a type of chart which displays the information as a series of a data point which is also called as a marker which is connected by the straight lines next is pie chart yes pie chart is a circular statistical graph which divide into the slices to illustrate that the numerical proportion here the arc length of each slide is a proportional to the quantity it represent it depend on the quantity how it quantity represent and everything you can represent in a values also and a percentage also next is scattered chart that is a new chart you are seeing i i guess so this is a scattered chart so through that we can explain that how many data are scattered with each other from the center so it is a type of plot or a mathematical diagram that display the value for a typically two variable for a set of data using a cartesian coordinate so this is my coordinates and i'll say how much each and every data are scattered from each other next is bubble chart so this is a bubble chart it is a variation of a scatter chart in which the data points are replaced with a bubble and an individual dimension of data is represent in a size of bubble so we can say this having a higher amount of intensity than the this one okay so we can represent on the basis of their length next is timeline chart through that we can different a uh, timeline we can explain so this is a timeline chart it shows the chronological sequence of a past or a future events on the timeline so we can say a uh, business analyst is we can complete in the month of may in the month of start development we can do it in the june then end of the development we can do it in the september so this is called as a timeline chart 
Next is the tree maps. So this is a tree map. In that we can say Greece, then Lemberg, Hungary, Spain, and Antarctica. So through this we can form one different tree maps. So this is higher intensity map. This is thoda lower intensity map like that. So it is a method of displaying the hierarchical data using the nested figures like rectangles, and has a tree like a structure with each branch is given a rectangle, which then ties with the smaller rectangle and representing the sub branches. A leaf node rectangle has an area proportional to the specified dimension of the data. Depending on a choice, leaf node is colored, sized, and are both according to the chosen attribute. They make the efficient use of a space, thus display the thousands of items on the screen simultaneously. So, we consider the tree map when we having a huge amount of data and you want to display the sum of the hierarchical manner. That time we can go with the tree maps. So, in this video, we have seen the different visualization techniques. What are the different visualization charts we can use to perform the different different analysis, and as well as the different techniques. Through which we can correlate it each other, etc. Thank you.